Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX, where we are once again checking mail. And what's this? A letter from Gumo for me? Ooh. There we go. And that's everything. So yeah, uh, in the last episode, we uh, explored some areas outside the Ice Cavern, and then we started our adventure into this cold and dark place. So, let's try and finish this area up, huh? Uh, before I do that, just to make sure... There's a boss battle coming up here, and you're not really going to have much... I don't think you're going to have a chance to uh, change your equipment then, so I'm just making sure I have all the best stuff. And we do, so let's head on. Head on! Apply directly to the forehead! Oh, gosh. Those are the most obnoxious commercials ever. Oh, poor Vivi. Everyone's freezing to death. Oh no, Vivi! Don't go that way! <laughs> oh. That's so sad, he just kind of tumbles off the edge. And Steiner tries to help him, and... Bah, topples over. I'm assuming they fell unconscious, which... <laughs> You're not alright, are you? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, hopefully they're not taking a snow nap. Don't do it, guys! Don't fall asleep! No, oh, no. Doesn't look like it's working, because I didn't. No, no, not Garnet too. No! This is not good. Everyone's just collapsing. What does that mean for us? Is it only a matter of time? No, Zaiden, don't fall asleep. Well, that's it, guys. This has been fun playing this game, but uh seems like we're at the end of the road. No, no, just kidding. Heard a little bell there off in the distance. Oh, I guess you can move here. So this is just in case you didn't do anything last time. This is another opportunity to switch your equipment to the last opportunity. So make sure you do it if you need to. Huh? Well, we did fall asleep, but then we woke up because you were ringing a bell. So whose fault is that? Hmm. The heck? He looks like a... He looks like a black mage, like Vivi, except he has wings. This is weird. Oh, uh, you're the cause of all this mess? Alright, so... It's boss time! Yeah, that's right. And unfortunately, this guy's a coward, as you'll see very shortly here, and we have to fight not just him, but his little pet, too. Alright, come on, guy. Call your little lapdog here. Get it over with. And by lapdog, I mean giant ice sea lion thing. <laughs> I never really realized it, but that's the animation for the Blizzaga spell. That little summoning thing. Anyways, uh... What you're gonna want to do, don't worry about stealing from the Black Waltz too much. Uh, he has... the Black Waltz has a Remedy and a Silk Shirt, which... The Remedy is okay, but you know, I... Honestly, I wouldn't go for it. You're kind of pressed in this battle, because you're one against two, and they can be pretty pretty powerful, so uh, I'm going to focus on stealing from the Sea Lion first here, mainly because uh, being only one person, you're almost guaranteed to get into trance in this battle, and I don't want to like go into trance and, uh, oh, awesome, that's what we were looking for, is that Mithril Dagger. So now we can just wail on these guys. Just go all out. Uh, what you're not going to want to attack the Sea Lion, though. If you attack him while the Black Waltz is still kicking, uh, then the Black Waltz is going to heal him with a Blizzard spell. So go after the Black Waltz first, otherwise, yeah, things are going to get... Well, they aren't going to go anywhere, so yeah, don't do that. Uh, as you can see, the Sea Lion has a little blue orb there in the center of him. Uh, that's actually going to be uh, a way that you can gauge how much HP he has left, which is kind of cool, because depending on how much HP he has depends on the kinds of spells and attacks he's going to use. Uh, when it's blue, he'll just use Blizzard mainly, or maybe attack you with his wings. Uh, once it falls down to yellow, which is about half health-ish, or two-thirds maybe, then uh, he'll start casting Blizzara, I believe. Oh no, not Blizzard. What, maybe? I don't remember. He does... I think it's he starts casting Blizzara, and I'm gonna heal up here. And then once he gets into red, he'll start casting Tsunami, which will be pretty painful, so yeah. And as you can see, our trance gauge is almost completely filled up there, so... Mm, yeah. If you're about 
if you're as high as level as I am, then this battle isn't really going to be a problem. Uh, I'm about level 7 right now, so... And we got rid of the black wall. So now it's just you and me, Sea Lion. Anyways, yeah, level 7 is a fine level for this. You can do it as low as 3 or 4, though. But it's definitely going to make things harder. Um, obviously. Uh, you'll have to probably rely a lot more on healing more often, and you might even have to resort to a high potion every once in a while. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, this battle isn't too bad, as you can see here. I mean, we're just kind of sitting around waiting for it to do its thing. Uh, I think it can get rid away with one more attack here. I think I'm going to heal next, though, because uh, I'm getting pretty, pretty close to trance, and I don't want it to waste a trance move to uh, use a heal. That would be kind of lame. Uh, yeah, when you're going, when you go into trance, uh, Basically, every action you take is going to lower the trance gauge uh, by, I think it's like a third. So, it's good to make use of the actual abilities rather than wasting it on things like using items and such. So, and I think, yeah, we just went into trance, so let's annihilate this guy with Tidal Flame. I, I'm not sure if trance skills are actually, if they actually have any elemental prop properties. I mean, it seems like Tidal Flame would. I don't think it does, though. So, I mean, this guy is weak to fire, but I'm not sure that Tidal Flame actually exploits that weakness or anything. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. There he is. Sea Lion down. And we get some AP for it. Not that we could really put it to any use. Well. So, yeah. Second major boss down. As cheap as he was, calling a little back up there. What? this. You defeated number one, but number two and number three will reclaim. Reclaim. Am I, what am I, Japanese? What the heck was that? And we have some mysterious voices in the background. As you can see, some of the ice melted, so we have a nice little waterfall there. Oh geez, it's those clowns. What are they doing there? Hmm. Perhaps that black waltz was that creation they were talking about, the experiment that they sent after Garnet. I think so. And it appears everyone woke up and is fine, now that there's not a freaking blizzard blowing everywhere. It's just sort of cold, instead of really cold now. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, Stunner. Well, we are hiding something, I can't deny that. Well, apparently Zayden can, though. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I guess that's a valid whatever, but... Yeah, what are you accusing him of exactly? kind of whipped a little bit there, aren't you, Steiner? Well, I guess she does, like, kind of command him, so whatever. Yeah, let's just get out of this place. <laughs> yeah, you know whenever so someone says something like that, there's obviously something bothering them. Well, anyways. I think... We go to Zaiden here. Yeah, he's learned both of the abilities for Mage Masher, so let's ditch that thing and, uh, equip the Mithril Dagger, which gives us the bandit ability, which, if I'm not mistaken, uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, very useful. Raises the success rate of steel, so heck yeah, we're equipping that, and why not? We'll do this too. So there you go. Uh, with that done, though, let's get our way out of here. There are still random battles around here, so I might run into one of those. Uh, of course. Ah, <sighs> yeah, you know you would get in a battle right before the exit. Uh, anyways, let's get out of this place. God dang it. One final little exit scene here. It's kind of a nice little area, though. Ah, oh, fresh air, jeez. Indeed we did. I always do think the sun feels really nice when it's cold out. You have that, like, nice warm to cold, double feeling, I don't know how to describe it, but it's nice, whatever it is. No, you've been everywhere, haven't you, Zayden? Oh, <laughs> yeah, apparent. Way to go, Garnet, way to say what I've been thinking. I don't know, visiting worlds and books can be fun too, though. <laughs> kind of similar to visiting worlds in a video game. Uh, 
cut the yeah. This is very true. Good plan, Sidon. Cut whoa, jeez. You almost knocked us off the cliff there. Watch where you're pushing. <sighs> Come on, Steiner, you need to pull that stick out of your rear. <laughs> yeah, God. You tell him, Zidane. <laughs> Vivi's just kind of like, oh, mommy and daddy are fighting. Yeah. Heck, she was the one that wanted to escape in the first place. Uh, why are you asking? Yeah, there you go. History lesson time. <laughs> Karen's like, yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, <laughs> Sidon's a little defeated. <laughs> Way to be the overprotective mother there, Steiner. And after taking a look at that weapon, we we're gonna be called Dagger. Um, I contemplated naming her something else, but I think I'm just gonna keep it this for now. Uh, yeah. Sounds good to me, I guess. Wait, who's he asking? Is he asking the player if that's okay with us? Like, uh, I'm kind of confused on that one. <laughs> now he's trying to get her to talk less like a. <laughs> less like that. <laughs> what would Vivi say? Uh. Aw. So you're turning her from a noble princess into a cute girl. Basically. Basically. Anyways, yeah, down the mountain we go, and we head off to the village of Dolly fun times are ahead for sure. So, yeah. Let's uh, get going here. We haven't done a whole lot in this episode. We can stand to do some more. Uh, I'm pretty sure the enemies in here, there's nothing too special about them, so... Yeah. Uh, the village of Dolly is over there. Um, I actually think I'm gonna go here. I'll leave this in. We've got a new enemy. Ooh. Uh, yeah, these guys, there's nothing too special about them. Uh, they do like to do this attack, though, called Web. It does some damage, and it will also also, also inflict uh, the status slow on uh, your party members, which is the first time we're going to encounter here. Basically, their ATB gauge is going to fill up half as fast as it normally would, which can be, especially at this stage of the game, it's uh, pretty obnoxious. And they can cast fire too, so that's fine. Oh! Whoa, Vivi's going into trance. Trance. That's exciting. Unfortunately, we can't really make use of it. Uh, basically, what happens when Vivi enters trance, as you can see, he has double black, which is basically double cast. He can cast two black magic spells in one turn, which is obviously very handy. But uh, since we're kind of out of MP at the moment, we can't really use it. But it matters not. Wasted trance. He looks kind of cool though when he's in trance. His hat's all pointy now. Alright, so there's that done. Geez, now let's see if I can do this without getting interrupted by a battle here. So, what I was saying before we got into that fiasco is I think I'm going to explore this place first. I'm not sure we can actually find anything here yet, but I figure I'd check it out. Why not? What the heck? We've got some time to kill. So, yeah. There's a couple things we can pick up. I mean, you can pick a... This place is pretty much here for the whole game. Like, it's not going to get cut off or anything. So you can come back here later if you want. But, uh... I think I'm going to... Th I'm not... I mean, we're actually going to get forced back here later. But I think there might be some stuff you can get if you come here before uh, that. Okay. So this must be, like, a shipping area, then. Hey, isn't that like the model ship that we had the very the very first episode? Oh, let me see. An auction, huh? Hmm. 
So yeah, this is actually introducing us to some uh, a little side quest here. It really doesn't have too much of a point, uh, but I am going to try and fulfill the quest if I can. Basically, he wants three special types of coffee, and if we manage to collect them and bring them back to him, uh, we'll get something special. Nothing, nothing useful at all. It's just for collector's sake, really. But uh, yeah, so that's cool. I'm not sure. I'm. I'm not sure when exactly you can talk to him about that. I know you can do it now, obviously, uh, and then after another event that's going to take place. Uh, I'm, I'm probably getting really confusing now, so I'm just going to stop talking about that. So let's just get into Dolly here. Or a uh, question mark, as the game likes to call it. At least we don't have any random battles that are going to be interrupting us all the time anymore. <laughs> but Vivi's excited about the windmill. Aww. <laughs> Vivi's obviously... It's times like these where you can tell that Vivi's obviously a kid. Sometimes it's... I mean, even Ike sometimes forget it that he's supposed to be a kid with the way he acts, but... Yep. So yeah, we're a little... We get a little breather here in the story. Let's all go into the end and chill out. of Dolly. Those kids seemed intrigued by something they saw. I wonder what that could be about. We might find out. Or we might not. Yeah, wake up, dude. You've got customers. Oh, I'm sorry. What's with you? <laughs> and of course, I assume he's staring at Garnett. But, uh, yeah. I wonder, was he staring at Garnett or perhaps someone else? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Dagger, you're so used to being pampered. <laughs> it's true. This is a pretty, uh, country place. There's not going to be a lot of pent suites that you're going to find here. No 40 floor ridiculous rooms full of fancy soaps for you to use. Just some straw beds. Yeah, that is a good question. Why the heck did you want to leave the castle? Ah, so that was our goal, to bring her to Lindblom, huh? Well, that's why she was trying to get out of the castle, I would assume. Not to see the sights of the city. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so, we're getting some insight into what we have to do here. Although, he didn't... Dagger didn't really answer his question, I don't think. About why she wanted to leave. She kind of dodged that rather artfully. Hmm. Oh, maybe she's going to answer it here. Oh, God. Withholding information from us. Oh, well. Zayden's a nice guy, so he just lets it slide. <laughs> oh, that's a fair point, I suppose. Hey, that wasn't our fault now. Not <laughs> but even so, Zayden still takes responsibility. Oh, jeez. Are you gonna try and become knighted now? <laughs> oh, I see what this is. Steiner's jealous. Oh, Steiner. No one can ever truly replace you. <laughs> oh, poor Vivi's tuckered out from all the fighting and craziness. Still clueless on Steiner. Conveniently, there's four beds in this place. I wonder if that's a standard number for the ins to have.
Decided it must be a late riser. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of important there, that whole little song sequence, so you might want to keep that in the back of your mind. Anyways, yeah, where could they have gone? I don't know. Let's, uh, see what's going on, and maybe we can find out. Uh, let's go with this one first. Get some insight into what the other characters are doing here. Oh, hey, it's those kids. I wonder what they have to say. Huh? Where? Or what? Hey, where are you, where are you afraid of him? It seems... well... <laughs> clearly. Way to pick up on that, V. <laughs> Aw. It's gotta feel kind of bad, though. I mean, he's just kind of hanging out, and yet these kids are, like, terrified of him or something. Uh, we lost that other ATE, but if you walk into the other room here, shit, yeah, it'll pop back, so... No worries there. What's this one about? Huh? Hmm. I guess that was quite a ruckus. Yeah, geez. <laughs> I'm not sure she did it to rescue you. I mean, she was kind of... She almost hit you. Geez. I think there's more to what she was trying to do there. I'm sure people did die. Oh, who's this? An old lady, huh? Kiddo. <laughs> Kids these days. Jeez. Typical old lady. Are we gonna get to... Uh, and Dagger's trying to learn about the country folk. Yes, that's what she said. Is it that odd of a concept? <laughs> uh, crop? Really? You don't know what crops are? You can't be that slow on the uptake. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm. You haven't seen too many, so you're not afraid? It seems like it works the other way around, usually. He did say that. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, aw, danger. She's trying. Trying to blend in. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think this is actually a pretty good place to stop the episode. Uh, so, yeah, thanks you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Later.